What's going on everyone? My name is Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos and also make sure you hit that like button because it really does go a long way in helping out the channel. When you open up your new brokerage account, you'll receive two free stocks. All new U.S. investors will receive four total free stocks, including those two free stocks, valued up to $3,700 when they make a deposit of $100. And lastly, cryptocurrency is now available on Webull, so you can trade cryptocurrency with zero commissions. Today we're going to be talking about NEO. It's currently 5.59 p.m. Eastern Time here in Michigan, and the stock is trading at $62.70 down 1.05% for the day and up 1.06% in the after hours. So yesterday we had a discussion about this in the Discord. If you want to be in on these discussions before the video actually drops on YouTube, make sure you join the free Discord. The link is going to be in the bio. But today's news is about the Reuters publication. Chinese EV maker Neo may launch mass market vehicles, but under a different mark. So I kind of have an idea about this one. This is just for fun speculation, throwing it out there. So first, let's set the stage. We all know that NEO on Saturday at NEO Day uh, announced their ET7 sedan, which would be NEO's first sedan. So we all know that the ET7 is definitely a premium sedan and definitely not a mass market vehicle. NEO is a luxury brand and their uh, products pretty much cater towards an affluent audience. Now, battery as a service was a great idea because it can reduce the purchase price of the vehicle by 15 to 20 percent by allowing the consumer to uh, purchase the car and lease the battery. And obviously, I've talked about this billions of times on this channel, but I feel like that opens them up to a little bit more of a broader audience. But they're definitely missing out on a little bit of the pie here. And who's to say Neo as an EV maker even needs that piece of the pie? I would like them to have it. I think it would be a good idea. Uh, you guys comment down below on that too and let me know what you guys think about that. But William Lee said on Sunday, as EV technologies advance and battery costs lower, it's possible that we may enter the massive market, but definitely not with the Neo brand. So here's my idea. On this channel, I talked about GAC Neo, which is a joint venture between GAC and Neo. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds because I think the business model is pretty disruptive, actually. I'll run the clip of it just so you guys can get an idea of what GAC Neo is because I'm sure that there's a lot of you uh, who aren't familiar with the uh, GAC Neo JV. The reason that I believe this collaboration will be pretty interesting to follow is because the business model that they're running with is pretty unique. The reason why is because the founder, Lao Bing, said that we can hold them to their promise of never profiting more than 1% of the hardware costs from their customer. The vision for GAC Neo is not to rely on the cars to make them money, but it's about the integrated software and the intelligent travel ecology. For example, GAC Neo has subscription-based services that they offer acronymed SUV. The S membership includes free warranty, lifetime over-the-air upgrades, unlimited bandwidth, and free home charging station installation service. The U membership includes six types of insurance and free maintenance. Of course, the liability and damage waiver. The V membership adds value added entertainment and travel services to the U membership. My honest opinion is that I think it'll be interesting to see if this business model works or not. I certainly think that it's innovative. Here's the thing with how I think about the current auto industry and where it's going. A company that's moving into this new world should not solely have their revenue only coming from the sale of their cars. We don't have to get into detail about every car company, but if we think about Tesla, their revenue does not only come from their cars. If we think about Neo, their revenue does not only come from their cars, and there's plenty of other examples out there. Currently, Gag Neo only has the Hikon 007 under the Hikon brand that Gag Neo created. The post subsidy prices range from 262,600 RMB to 303,000 RMB, which is approximately 36,986 US dollars to 42,676 US dollars. So it's definitely not in the premium electric vehicle market like NEO, but I think this is a good thing because it gives them exposure to a broader market as well. We talked about this the other day, but the China-based Tesla Model 3 is coming in at uh, $36,800 and the 007 is starting at $36,986 so for the price of a sedan 
you're pretty much getting an, a mid-size SUV. SUVs are typically more expensive than sedans. Now, of course, the membership packages will have to make sense price-wise for this to make business sense and for this to make sense to the consumer. I know that um, starting off, they had some introductory deals uh, for the consumers of the Hikon 007, but I think those have expired. So Gagneo made a pledge to make no more than 1% profit on vehicle hardware costs. And that's pretty tough to do when batteries are the most expensive part of the electric vehicle. Battery costs are declining over time, but you know, making 1% profit, how is your business going to run? Well, uh, as I said in that previous video, Gagneo plans to uh, sell services to their customers. So under the Hikon brand and Gagneo and everything they've got going on does seem like a good uh, scapegoat for Neo to release mass market vehicles just because those cars are already you know not as pricey as the uh neo vehicles and for those of you who don't know uh in terms of who owns what stake of the venture gak uh owns 45 percent of gak neo neo owns 45 percent of uh gak neo and 10 percent of uh gak neo's stake is used to pay out employees so it's been announced that neo is partnering with uh catl on lithium phosphate batteries which will be cheaper batteries for uh, mass-produced vehicles does that go to the gag neo brand that's something i'm wondering that's why i said this video is pretty speculative but that would make sense for me so that's just an idea here neo could very well be having their own separate car brand that uh potentially wouldn't even involve uh gag or the gag neo venture at all but you know just an idea here but either way it would make sense to have a mass market vehicle that could boost deliveries um in the long run so that's going to be it for this video i want to know what you guys think about this topic down below make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button i'll link the free discord in the description and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video